the function of memory address register is to select the address from the memory and the RAM will be outputting the value from the address selected by the memory address register and this address will be then then the data at the address uh, at which the memory address register is pointed will be outputted on the bus and it will be then given as an input to instruction register and the further process will be carried out so we need to focus on how we can design the memory address register for our 8-bit computer so basically the memory address register stores some of the value inside it the address value inside it so we need some of the component of digitals electronics that stores the value and the value the component we know is flip-flop so basically it is a 74173 uh, IC which is a 4-bit register if you don't know more about it I have discussed about this IC in uh, in previous video you can watch it I have given the link about these videos in the description or you can click above after seeing this video so basically 741173 is a T type resistor it is a 4 bit resistor and our memory address resistor will be a 4 bit resistor uh, will be addressing a 4 bit address and it will be addressing the address of a RAM which will be of 16 bytes so in further upcoming videos we will be discussing about the this RAM so previous video I talked about the program counter the clock module instruction register register A register B arithmetic logic unit and in this video I am going to talk about memory address register in further coming videos we will be designing the RAM the output register the control unit and then the bus so basically the control unit will be our last part which will be comprising of three videos which will be divided according to the sections will be further discussing. so coming back to this video memory address register so so let's get started so memory address register this is what we are going to design in this video we are going to use 74173 it is 4 bit d type resistor IC here are the input pins where we are going to give inputs and these are the output pins the value will be stored inside it and the value will be outputting here and this value will be our 4 bit address which will be going into our RAM so and these are the load signal if the value from here will be coming value from here will be value from these inputs where will be there at these points and if we give this load signal which is active low signal if we make this signal low the value will be inputted into this 74173 register and it will be stored inside it and then these are the ground signal these are the output signals basically after designing this memory address register we sometimes need we also need to program our computer so for that for that purpose we need physically also selecting these addresses so how can we do that basically physically um, selecting these address I mean that whenever this computer will be there in the automatic mode it will uh, automatically select uh, it will be automatically selecting the addresses and according to them the process of the computer will be going on but what if we are in the program mode program mode means in this mode we are going to select the address we are going to program a particular opcode as well as an instruction into the RAM and then we are going to select the another address and then another instruction so for that purpose we need some logic here which will be selecting whether the these IC had to select the address from 
the bus select the address from the bus or select the address which we are physically telling it to select so for that we need a control logic so for that we'll be using one ic which is 74157 so it is a two line to one line multiplexer so what it will do it will if i have two inputs input a and input b my input a is the input from the bus and my input b is physically physical input which will be giving for the manual mode for selecting a particular address so it will be the auto mode we'll be calling it as auto mode it will we'll be calling b as manual mode and uh, according to the selection it will be outputting one of the output here so this what the ice will be doing so here it is a a bar slash b it is selector pin will be connecting here a switch so if so so if this switch is grounded so here what i wrote that a bar means when this switch is grounded it will be a, a low signal at the a inputs which are for this 74157 there are four inputs it is a quadruple two line to one line multiplexer quadruple means there are four inputs of a and b and four outputs and after each input is a and b input so a1 b1 and this is out a2 b2 it will be a ground signal here then here it will be the enable signal it is active low signal and it will continuously be active and this is here is don't consider the pin mapping when we will be designing the and i will be designing the actual circuit i will be seeing about the pin mapping uh, basically i have given a sort only a block diagram of these ic here so take it into consideration afterwards so here i will be connecting this a inputs a inputs i will be connecting to auto auto mode means it will be connected to bus and b inputs will be connected to manual manual mode means it will be connected to switches to be connected to switches auto now whenever i'll be switching from a to b it will be selecting whether i have to input output the value of a or b and this output will be connected here so i'll be writing here out one out two o two o three and o four and here same as i will be writing here o1 o2 this outputs will be connected here at these points inputs for 74173 and here is how we will be designing this memory address register whenever there we, are, we have to select a particular address we will be selecting the address using a we will be switching this to high we will be switching this uh, pin to high means we are into the program mode program mode so we will be switching to program mode then we will be using our manual switches to select a particular address then when we will be designing ram we will be selecting a particular data to put into the ram at particular address which the this 74173 is pointing to and then we will be again shifting it to the auto mode and then we will be running the clock and this way and there also will be a clock signal for this it is a pin 7 7 number pin is of clock and this way our memory address register will be working so thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe for more videos and more updates so thanks for watching stay creative share your knowledge with me technofetch